So once again, we're given an inequality and asked to solve it algebraically, giving the solution in interval notation. Uh, in this case, the inequality is negative x squared plus 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So solving algebraically, remember, is uh, essentially the same as far as uh, the initial setup is concerned uh, as finding the x-intercepts when graphing. So we'll put negative x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. Now we could, what they'll have you do in some of the examples is we could go ahead and divide by negative 1. That would give us x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. Uh, or we could use the original. The, the, the main reason to uh, get rid of that leading coefficient of negative 1 to make it a positive 1 is that it's easier to see if it will factor. And in this case, it won't because we have uh, negative 1 as our constant and negative 2 as the coefficient on x. There are no numbers that will multiply to negative 1 that add to negative 2. So this will not factor. So what does that mean? That means we use the quadratic formula. So remember, the quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. And that's when we have the form ax squared plus bx plus c. If you don't remember that by heart, <clears throat> stop uh, and take some time to memorize it now because that is going to be very important moving forward. So using the quadratic formula, we have x equals, and we'll use our original So x equals negative b, so negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared, so 2 squared, minus 4 times a is negative 1. That's the coefficient on x squared. So negative 1 times c is 1, all over 2a, so 2 times negative 1. That equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared is 4. 4 times negative 1 is negative 4 minus negative 4 is plus 4. So that's going to be just the square root of 8 all over negative 2. We simplify the square root of 8. We'll go ahead and write in another step. Negative 2 plus or minus the square root of this is 2 times the square root of 2, because 8 is 4 times 2. So that's the square root of 4 times 2, which is 2 times the square root of 2, all over negative 2. So all of those, so that negative 2 is going to cancel, that negative 2 is going to cancel. So this is going to be, and that 2 is going to cancel. And it ends up being 1 plus or minus the square root of 2. So now 1 minus the square root of 2, that's approximately 0 0.414. And 1 plus the square root of 2 is approximately 2.414. So we make our number line. Oh, sorry, this is negative 0 0.414. 1 minus the square root of 2 is approximately uh, negative 0 0.414. So we make our intervals on our number line. So 1 minus the square root of 2, so negative 0 0.414, or 1 minus the square root of 2. And this is 1 plus the square root of 2, or approximately 2.414. So let's test points. So x is less than 1 minus the square root of 2. So remember, that's approximately negative 0 0.414. So let's go ahead and just use negative 1. So negative, negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 plus 1. That equals negative 1 squared is 1. So that's negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So that interval is negative. Now how about between 1 minus the square root of 2 and 1 plus the square root of 2. So 1 minus the square root of 2 is less than x, which is less than 1 plus the square root of 2. Let's go, go ahead and use 0 because that makes it the simplest. Negative 0 squared 
plus two times zero plus one. That's zero plus zero plus one, so that equals one. That's positive. And then x is greater than one plus the square root of two. Let's just go ahead and use three. So negative three squared plus two times three plus one. That equals negative nine plus six. That's negative three plus one is negative two, which is again negative. So negative x squared plus 2x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 between 1 minus the square root of 2 and 1 plus the square root of 2. It, it includes the equals, so it's going to be inclusive. So in interval notation, that would be close bracket 1 minus the square root of 2, 2, 1 plus the square root of 2 and then close with a closed bracket as well.